Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing you some more fun free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, I've got a cracking one for you beginners. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a really basic groove. Um, just kick, snare, kick, kick, snare. But over the course of five different grooves, we're going to keep the bass drums and the snare drums in the same place. But we're going to increase its complexity just a little bit every single time and see if we can put together this nice little sequence. And what you'll get is you'll eventually get this sort of like nice little uh, buffet of drum beats that you can use in pretty much any different context depending on what you're playing. So uh, if you like what you saw in the intro and you want to give this one a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. Okay, so let's kick things off with the simplest groove. Um, if you've ever played drums before, this is probably one of the first little beats you learn. Um, just eighth notes to the right hand, kick on beat one, snare drum on beat two, kicks on beat three, and the end of beat three, and then a snare drum on beat four. Like I said, probably one of the first grooves you learn, but probably the groove you'll play the most throughout your drumming career, so it's a really important one. So let's just start off with that. So we've got one, and two, and three, and four, and not gonna spend too long on this one. Okay, really simple. Let's speed it up a tiny bit. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. All right, so if you can get that one down, you can pretty much play the majority of sort of like pop and rock songs. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that same pattern, kick, snare, kick, kick, snare, but this time we're going to play 16th notes with the hands. So we're going to utilize that single stroke roll, and keeping them all up on the hi-hat all the way through, and then when we get to beats two and four, we just bring our right hand down to the snare drum. So we end up with this one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. All the kicks still land with the right hand. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And that left hand just stays up there throughout the entire groove. What we do is we just quickly play the first drum beat into the second one. We'll show you how that transition goes. We've got one and two and three and four more. One and two, three and four and one e and a two and a three and a four and a one e and a two and a three and a four and a. All right, so that's the first two grooves done. Not too bad so far. All right, so let's move on to the third groove again. Very simple, we're just going to play quarter notes with the right hand this time. So this just sort of like pose one problem, which is where up until now, maybe your right hand and right foot have always sort of worked with each other. With this one, you've got to rely on that kick drum sort of playing independently from your right hand. So we start off with one, two, and then we get to the three and we go three and. So you've got to bring that right hand back and then plant your foot. So one, two, three and four. Okay, and this is that sort of classic old school rock groove. And again, we can link that in with the other beats we've done so far. So from the beginning, we've got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and six beats. Quarter notes. Okay. Probably got the easiest ones out of the way so far. The next one's a little bit more challenging. We're going to go down a slightly linear route. Although it's not completely linear because there is one moment where the right hand and the right foot do connect at the same time. And what we're going to do is we're going to go one and two and, and then we're going to go three and four and. So this one's quite a nice sort of like indie pop rock sort of vibe. So if I speed it up, you'll hear what it's going to sound like. Okay, so what's happening here is the right hand is kind of, instead of just playing all the eighth notes like we did in the first groove, now we're just playing the and, so it be one and two and three and four and one and two and, and it gives the, like, the beat a nice sort of bouncy feel. And again, it's a really good one to sort of dance to as well. So let's just go nice and slow. So we've got one and two and, so nice simple beginning. Then it gets a bit trickier. Then we've got three and so we're playing the kick on beat three as we always would but there's no hi-hat with it but then you've got to plant it with the second one so you get three yeah that was right three and four and all together one and two and three and four and a little bit faster one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and let's go a bit quicker again So it can take a little bit of time to get that one down. Right, so it's out of the list. We're going to play with eighth notes, sixteenth notes, quarter notes, and then we're going to play the ands of each eighth note. So here we go. Sixteenths. 
those notes. Eighth notes. Okay, and as you can hear already, even though the bass drums and the snare drums are in exactly the same place, just by mixing up what we're doing with that hi-hat can have a real effect on sort of like the feel of each groove. So if you're in a playing in a song and you want to transition from like one beat in the verse, and you may be going into a bridge which has got a slightly different feel, then you've got the options maybe swap to 16ths up on the hi-hat just to give it a bit more urgency. Or if you want to make it a bit more bouncy, and you can come up with something like that. All right, so that's four down. Let's move on to the fifth and final variation. What we're going to do now is we're going to utilize the paradiddle. So if you, again, if you've just started playing drums, you want to probably learn your basic grooves and then you want to learn these sort of sticking patterns of like single strokes, double strokes, and then the sort of the, the hybrid of those two, which is the paradiddle. So right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. And with this, we want to try and accent the start of each paradiddle. Okay, so like when we lead with our right hand, we're going to put our right hand up on the hi-hat and go right, left, right, right. That first note, we're going to sort of help emphasize with that kick. Right, left, right, right. And then when we get to that left, right, left, left, the back end of the paradiddle, we're going to sort of like do an accent on the snare. So you want to hit that one a bit louder. So when you play those two doubles with your left at the end, they're much quieter. So they don't sort of like add to the groove too much. They're ghost notes. They want to sort of be very subtle. So let's just play the first half. I'm not going to worry about putting the extra kick in. We're just going to concentrate on going right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. So that's the front end of it. The back end, we're gonna obviously we've got the bass drum on beat three and then the and of beat three. Unfortunately for us, they, they land on both right hands. So we get this right, left, right, right. Okay, so you've got another right coming just afterwards, but you still get, like I said, landing with that right hand on the hi-hat. So let's just go from beat three onwards. We've got right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Kick, snare, kick, tick, snare, tick, snare, snare. Let's put it all together. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a right left right right left right left left right left right right left right left left. If you want, just practice that second half. That's probably where it gets the trickiest. And of course, when you're playing it like within this sequence, it's going to be quite fast. All right, so let's go from the beginning. Actually, let's just let's just loop this groove around a few times. It sounds nice. So I'll start off nice and slow, then I'll speed it up a little bit. at the end there. And as you can see, by sort of slapping that snare nice and hard when it comes to the start of the left-handed lead paradiddle, that's where you get that nice crack, which you would do on beats two and four of the other grooves. So, all there is to do now is to link all of these together. So, what I'm gonna do is just go for it, sort of like two bars for each one. I'm not gonna go too fast here, then we'll pop up there and I'll bust it out at a couple of different speeds. So, from the beginning, here we go. Your eighth notes. One round. Move the six things. Eighth notes. Upbeat eighth notes. And that's the whole sequence. And like I said at the beginning, you can sort of put it in, you know, you can just practice them individually, or if you want to sort of, you know, create like a nice little practice uh, sequence to go along, you can even do two bars of each one, one bar of each one. Um, what I might do is just do four, so you get a little bit of time to hear each groove and then settle on that. And then when you hear the, the next one come in, you can sort of hear how that slight variation, what we're doing with the hi-hat, can affect the feel of each beat. So, I've rambled on far too long. Let's pop up there and I'll play a couple of different speeds for you. All right, here we go. 90 BPM. So, one, two, three.
from 10 p.m. One, two, three. Alright guys, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, give it that little thumbs up. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, if you are a subscriber, click that little notification icon. It looks like a bell. And then every Thursday you'll get like an email or a notification that a new video has come out. Um, if you're on the sheet music, you can grab that from onlinejummer.com. It's completely free to download. If you check the uh, description below, you'll find links to that. Uh, my Patreon page if you want to come and support the channel. And Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and all that lovely stuff as well. So, until next time, take care, keep drumming and I'll see you next Thursday for some more fun through drumming ideas. Alright, see you later.